I want it to be my first fight of 2018. I do not want another fight that is not the tiebreaker with Golovkin. And that's what we're going to try to do. I feel that I was the winner, but that's boxing. I told everyone that it would be a great fight. I feel very happy with what I did. The people were happy and now they want to see the rematch. Those are the words of Canelo Alvarez. A statement of intent from Canelo. He says he's not interested in any other fights. He wants the Golovkin rematch in 2018. The first fight of 2018. You have to imagine that'll be Cinco de Mayo weekend. The May 5th weekend. The Mexican holiday. Some people are going to say that Canelo's bluffing here. He's just trying to put up a smoke screen and make it look like he wants the Golovkin rematch. But what he's actually going to do is make real sorry, make unrealistic demands in negotiation, demands that he knows Golovkin won't go for, and therefore scupper the fight that way. Some people are going to say that. I'm not saying I believe that, but I know how the boxing community is. What do you believe? Is Canelo serious about his intent here to take on Golovkin in a rematch next without any fights in the interim? Certainly not in 2018. Maybe a fight later on this year, possibly. Although even that's doubtful because he tends to only fight on the Mexican holidays. Uh, just let me know what you think. Is he being sincere here or is he trying to put up a smoke screen? And if a rematch does take place next, let's say Golovkin might have a fight in the interim or whatever. I mean, who knows? But let's say if they don't have fights in the interim and fight each other on Cinco de Mayo weekend 2018, how do you see the fight going? Will it play out in the same way? Will either guy be more decisive? Will Golovkin win decisively? Will Canelo win decisively? Who's going to do better in the rematch? Some people say Canelo. Some people say Golovkin. The people who say Canelo are saying, well, Canelo knows what Golovkin's power's like now. He knows he can take it. He's been in there with this so-called boogeyman, this so-called monster. And he'll be more confident. I mean, he was confident first time around, but he'll be even more confident this time around because he knows what Golovkin has. He knows that he can actually stand with Golovkin and trade if need be. He did that several times in their first fight. It's only really stamina that let Canelo down in the first fight between these two because he was never hurt by Golovkin. He was never overwhelmed in the middle of the ring. When he decided that he wanted to take one of his breaks, then yeah, Golovkin had some success with Canelo up against the ropes. But when it was in the middle of the ring and they were both swinging it out, I thought Canelo would usually get the better of the exchanges until, as I say, he ran out of gas and then he had to back up. Can he improve his stamina sufficiently? Canelo's always had stamina issues. Personally, I'd be surprised if he can. Then with Golovkin, the people who think he will do better second time around are the people who say, well, he started a bit slow first time. This time he's going to start applying the pressure from early against Canelo. He won't have as much respect. Which side of the fence do you sit on? Who took more damage in the first fight? Would that be significant? Did Golovkin take more damage? Or did Canelo take more damage? Personally, I think Golovkin took more damage. That might be controversial, but I think Golovkin... Whether you think he won or lost, and I had Golovkin winning by a point, I think Golovkin took more clean headshots in the first fight than Canelo did. And combine that with Golovkin's age and the fact that he's been taking clean headshots in many of his recent fights, that to me don't bode well for him. But let me know how you feel about all the points I've raised, all the questions I've raised in this video. It's Hatman, I'm out.